Happy New Year, everybody. How are you doing? Someone took a picture of me last night celebrating the New Year. Um, the face looks weird there. It's kind of, uh, it's actually kind of whited out. Yep, there you go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, um, Happy New Year. I went yesterday to Angel Heart and picked up your gifts. Oh my God. Gifts and check this out, you guys. And remember the batch I just finished. <laughs> so the next full moon, I'll do any anything that you were requesting. Um, I got Dr. Fossey this time. I got John F. Kennedy, the bobblehead. So I went online, thank you, by the way. And whoever sent this, they there was nothing there about who sent it. So I'd like to send you a thank you. If you could email me at standuppsychic at comcast.net, I'll put it in the box below. I'd like to thank you, but I went on to Amazon and I bought Barack, Michelle, uh, Pence, and Kamala. Kamala. And uh, look at these, these, I got these rocks, painted rocks. I think that's so cute. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So thank you, you guys. Also um, got a book, Another World Through the Eyes of the Soul from Winifred Davis. So you, some up and coming artists, uh, I have to sit down and read the book. Um, uh, what else was I going to tell you guys? So I will answer all these and I will give the, uh, I will do my bonfire like I did the full moon on the 29th. Oh, I know. Um, this is funny. <laughs> 2020. And someone sent me a Ruth Bader Ginsburg one, but I didn't have a name and address to thank you. And also, I wanted to tell you guys, oh, look at this. I'm speaking, I'm speaking, Kamala. Anyway, I really appreciate, appreciate these little gifts. I don't like too expensive, thank you. Um, but, you know, the cards are, are, are so cool to talk about yourself, who you are. I prefer the cards, but the, this stuff is fun too. But, you know, oh, you guys are spoiling me. Anyways, listen, people were commenting about my skin. And, you know, I do have a new camera, but I'm going to tell you, this product that the client sent me, it's called, uh, hold on. Can you see it? Aqua or something like that. And they have a mud mask because, you know, I can get pretty pale. It's so funny because back in my younger days, I was always walking around looking flush. When I was a kid, you could tell if I was embarrassed or, or whatever, because my face would be beet red. But this stuff, these, this whole product, they sent me like a very expensive packet because I just went on their website. They have face masks. This is the mud mask, but they're moisturizer. I was really struggling with my skin being really dry. I mean, I'm not, but the thing is, it's expensive, you guys. It's not cheap. But comparatively for me, who spends a lot of money on expensive stuff, I would say this is probably also that dog move that scared me. That's Jack moving the dog. It's not a ghost assist. <laughs> the power of Christ will compel you. He's hiding back behind his doggy. That's his new doggy he got. Okay, so I also want to tell you guys, Marianne appreciates your prayers. She just was released from the hospital because she was having horrible stomach pains and couldn't keep food down. And they identified the cancer in her stomach too. So she's supposed to talk to an oncologist. They're gonna put her on a trial of a drug that only has a 15% chance of working. So um, just a heads up on that. If anybody knows about this drug, let me do that real quick. Um, I'm gonna to talk to her tomorrow. Um, where is she? Where is she? It's called Taxotere, T-A-X-O-T-A-R-E. 
15% chance. If you guys, anybody took it, some people have written me and have had, listen, I had to put my sweater because it is freaking cold out here. If you guys have had people that you know that took it, or if you know of some sort of drug that's in trial that worked for somebody, please contact me, standuppsychic at comcast.net. And then I also got a sweet letter from a, 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 a client who wanted me to please give prayers for her, Jonathan, born March 26, requesting a cure for scarcoma cancer. Um, this is a picture of him. Look at what a sweetie he looks like. He looks young there. Let's see, when was he born? 1989. Yeah, he is young. So anyway, Jonathan, prayers are out for you, my friend. You know, it's really weird, but I read, I don't know where I read it, but it was that sometimes Jesus, I always talk about, I'm sorry, you guys, could not heal people because he could only heal those, he could only do miraculous healing on those that got, I don't know what the difference is, but those who were like me, I got the breast cancer, but I was healed. But sometimes he couldn't heal those who was karmic, who had agreed for to have this particular disease. So um, anyway, the cool thing about having the breast cancer for me is I got a little hit on the other side. And so it's, you know, so beautiful there, but I understand the struggle wanting to stay with your family and loved ones. So Anything you guys can come up with, I really appreciate it. Okay, and I'll get through all these requests um, now. Where are we going to go? We're going to your questions. A few little comments. So Mike Pence went to the judge that was reviewing this request. What those Republicans are doing is they want him to have more power to reject the um, electoral votes that come in. All he's supposed to do is open it and submit it. He's not supposed to change it. But Mike Pence requested to the judge that he kicks that out. He doesn't want that to happen. And, you know, it's unconstitutional, but they are so desperate. It's just amazing. But that pretty much was the nail in the coffin for Trump. I think that could be because I didn't really see him coming back, at least till the six. But I think that could be one of the reasons he came back. He's going to do a rah-rah in, uh, in Washington. And he wants people to create chaos. So I'm sorry about that, but that's what he's doing. I looked at the weather report for Washington, D.C. on January uh, 6th, and it, it's going to be cold, but it's clear. Dack on it. But, you know, they'll be looking out for it. And did you see the inauguration? People are really going to be protecting Biden because there's so many death threats to everybody. So what you do is if you don't like the way things turn out, you threaten their lives. And this is America. And don't take away my gun so I can threaten your life. Okay, you guys. So you rec I asked you guys to put in... Um, um, Happy New Year, Happy New Year. So I did the Sterling questions. We already have 342 questions. Okay. Um, oh, and I had a weird dream. And some of you on, on YouTube would know this. Um, okay, here it is. Uh, <laughs> um, I dreamt that I was doing an event at a used car sale down where I used to live, this honky tonk, -tonk town, not that exciting. And there was, uh, there was a street they used to call, you know, it's had the cars, all the cars. And, and I went to the used car lot and I was sponsoring Trump to do a speech there. And there were some people, it wasn't that crowded. And <laughs> people were just in line to meet him and I was handling it and I couldn't stand him in the dream, but I was faking like whatever, cause I worked, I was doing work. And he started telling me that I was a terrific worker and by God, would I consider working for him? And I'm just thinking, no, no. And then um, somebody in his group told him, that's Linda G. Comancho Psycho, who has been predicting your demise. And then he pompously left, you know, and it didn't break my heart, but 
I just wanted to tell you guys that. Okay, and um, here's some questions, okay? I want to tell you though, and I might do this sometime this week, that for 2021, in fact, why don't I ask you guys, what general question do you want to know for 2021? It might be easier for me to do that. So after this video today, I'll put that in the YouTube and we'll do it next week. But I did pick up something. I wanted to tell you that, um, in fact, we should probably read, read in a, just a minute on this one thing I hit. I really got a hit that the banks were gonna be hit, hit on. Like the information they stole, they'll use it, but it's banking, banking system, something where it kind of puts people at a, at a halt. They fix it and it doesn't, but it feels sort of like a little overwhelming because people won't be able to get their monies for a day or two. But it's, it's sort of a freeze. It, I don't know. And it could just be one bank. I keep hearing Bank of America, but I don't know. But I just saw that. I just want you to know that. I picked that up for 2021, sort of a freeze. And it's not just the banks, a couple of other things. But they're going to, the United States with Biden is going to work their pachikas off and get this whole thing situated. So don't worry about it, okay? But you know, some people can't live without, you know, their ATM. Okay, but I just saw a mess up. I don't see them stealing the money, I see them freezing it. Okay, so now um, I saw that in 2021 and I wanted to ask about all this Iran stuff. I do think that he's pulling, um, what they want is they put, remember that actor who's dead now that put the battery Duracell or Energizer on his, on his shoulder and said, I dare you to knock it off. Do you remember him? It's that kind of, I dare you to do something to Iran. But Iran is really sick and Iran is really struggling right now. In fact, my flash was that when Biden comes in, um, Iran's at the table trying to work with him. So, uh, and it's going to be, the sanctions will be a hit in Russia more so than Iran, okay? But they're furious at Trump and they're looking at him. I mean, they're still looking to get back at him. But I don't see a war. Someone said, oh, they want to do a war with him before he leaves. No, they don't want to do a war with him. Not at all. They're looking forward to him leaving so they can work with Biden. But after he leaves... They may pull some stuff. Okay, so here we go. Iran, will, will Trump deliberately start some something just so, I don't know what the constitution says if we're in some sort of turmoil, does that mean he gets to stay for a while? I don't think so. I think on January 20th, he's gone, which is only two and a half weeks. Happy new year. So yeah, uh, January 6th is a, it's just going to be a bunch of, it's, we'll be sitting here just rolling our eyes, but it's not going to work. Okay. It is not going to work. Guaranteed. It's not going to work. Yeah. He's trying to start some. Is there war? No, there's no war. There's no war right now, you guys. They know better. They know not, they're struggling. They're struggling. They're struggling financially. They're struggling, struggling because apparently the vaccine, they're not getting a vaccine or they're being, they're being treated pretty badly. But uh, not Russia. Russia's being treated quite well. Because you know, this this thing, this spying thing taking everything up, according to Trump, probably wasn't Russia, it was China. <laughs> when in doubt, blame China. Okay, you guys, let's do this. Now, here's your questions, okay? Okay. Um, someone said, my question is, Christian, will Biden pass emergency money for the People Act and forgive all student loans? Not all student loans will be forgiven, okay? But they're gonna, 
really sort this out and and there will be forgiveness maybe student loans that are years old and those with that are struggling not all of them but they'll definitely make it easier for you um and um let's see that's emergency money biden passed emergency money i see as soon as he walks in the door he's doing another stimulus so there's another check did you guys get your check i'm hearing about people getting their their money uh well oh this is a good one uh this is from joyce will congress do the right thing and arrest those senators and congress people for their seditious acts as well as being traitors no kidding girlfriend no kidding and you know like I, i've said this to you before marianne williamson of all people who was a little too she's She's a force to be reckoned with, but it wasn't her time at this time to be president. I, I liked her, but it just wasn't her time because she was totally right saying what we need is love. Absolutely. But there's so much ugly out there. People just didn't understand what she was talking about. So Marianne Williams said, we cannot heal unless we have justice. And it doesn't mean we forget, and I know sometimes turning the other cheek, you know, but I feel that they need to do, at least on Trump and his family, but let's see if these Congress people will have to pay. I just saw Biden talking to people about this. I just energetically saw him talking to people. Biden's feeling a little overwhelmed, you guys. And what did I tell you? Did my prop did my proposition? Did my prophecy come true? Not me, it's them. I say me, but it's I'm just the conduit. Remember when they said to us that the um that the reason they put in his his civilians in the Pentagon was to screw with Biden? They didn't use the word screw, I'm using the word screw. Mess with Biden. That was true. You see that Biden wasn't getting any kind of ability to work with the Pentagon because of them. That's why you put them in there. They are doing everything they can to not make a smooth transition, which, you know, Trump wants to run in 2024. Nope. He can't be trusted. I'm so glad he didn't win. Okay, so we wanted to look at, will Congress do the right thing? But see, the people that are coming into Congress, there's more Republicans, but... And then that poor young man, 41 years old, died of COVID, the Republican who did refuse masks. Two young children. But now they're showing on Twitter, people are taking pictures of the parlay. I, I wouldn't join that or whatever, that, that new Twitter for Trumpsters. And they're all saying, oh, he died of a heart attack because, you know, we don't want to make it COVID. And then they were also saying, why is it the Republicans are getting the virus? How come Democrats aren't getting the virus? I'm not kidding you guys. And the spelling. You think my pronunciations of certain words are bad? Check out the spelling. Okay, will there be some? They're all trying to clear it with Biden. I think Nancy Pelosi would love to jump in. And let me tell you what I just got. I got that they are, they're hitting up Biden or they wanted to ask Biden because Biden is worried about getting anything passed, you know? So I think what we're waiting for is to see what happens with the Georgians that are running to see if the Reverend and Osloff get in because um, he may need to, but the thing is those people are gonna be his enemy no matter what. And McConnell, he's already said he's not gonna do anything for Biden. Interesting, because McConnell was the only Republican that showed up at his son's funeral. So will justice be served? Okay, thank you. I think so. I do think so. Listen, we've got the hermit, so it wait for it okay the wait for it 
you know, because we've had fights before. We've even had uh, Maxine was the one who came up and didn't want Bush in because she thought the Florida thing was a fraud. But it was Al Gore who said, you know what? Unless you have absolute proof that it's a fraud, we can't go there. And he hit the, the thing and, you know, that was it. And the Republicans were booing her and making fun of her. So, um, okay, thank you. Thank you. So what I'm getting right now is it's not gonna be all of them, but there's some of them who are already gonna be in trouble. There's information coming in. So um, wait for it. You guys will tell me later, we might be in the middle of next year and you'll be going, Doc, got it, Linda. By God, your, your guys were right again. And I see people getting in trouble, like legal trouble. So they're like I told you, when they get in there, they're going to go through it with a fine tooth comb. Because I already told you that uh, Mitch McConnell's wife is in trouble and Trump fired the person that was investigating his wife. But guess what? When Biden comes in, we're going to pick up where we left off. And when she starts going down, he starts going down. But there's going to be a lot of affiliation with foreign assets. It's not going to work out very good for them. So don't worry about that. Justice is coming. But, you know, we can't lay up at night worried about justice. No, give it away. Tell the higher powers, thank you. Thank you that Biden won. Because I don't know if you can feel it, but there's a bit, a bit of a lifting. So by the end of this next year, we will see changes. You're still going to have ugly. That, that can't be helped. You know, we have to have the yin yang. What is it? Cahal Gabran, Cahil Gabran said, you cannot laugh all your laughter until you cried all your tears. And in this darkness, we become more awake. Now, listen, we've gone through darkness before with people like Hitler. Let me tell you, if if Trump hadn't been such a putz and followed Putin like a child, but he, his ego, and I even see Putin talking about his ego. He just wants to be the big man. He wants to be the, got to put your, his name on your, on your stimulus check. That he wanted his name on the injections, on the, um, on the vaccine. So, you know, he's just, if he hadn't been so tied up in himself, it could stand down like Hitler did, where he slowly but surely went in. He even made agreements, totally lied and went in and, and grabbed those countries anyway, okay? All right, so that's my answer to that. Okay. <laughs> Cosmo, will Biden's German shepherds, General and Champ be with him in the Oval Office to help sniff out untrustworthy visitors? <laughs> oh, my girlfriend, Linda, would love that. She got a couple of big German shepherds. Oh, she's, she's a smart woman. She's a single woman. She's my ICU nurse. And let me tell you, those dogs, even when I come to the door, I get nervous until they know who I am. But yeah, she, um, I don't see them in the Oval Office. But they will be in the residence, okay? I don't see them in the Oval Office. Um, yeah, okay, so why did 45 leave Mar-a-Lago so suddenly? And that's a good question. Um, I feel like he's upset about Pence. That's what I felt. I could be wrong. Tell me what? Why did he leave so suddenly? He wants to offset Biden, I'm gonna tell you right now. He's looking to start trouble, you guys. I tell you, he would like to start a war, but he won't be able to. Um, he's coming in like, you know, ready to battle. He's coming in ready to battle. 
So he didn't do his New Year's Eve. He could care less about the New Year's Eve bash. He could care less. Did you hear he was furious when he went down there to Mar-a-Lago because he didn't like the way Melania decorated it. Her taste is different, but you know, he had that other woman he was married to. I think he liked that gaunt, you know, gold and stuff. And Melania isn't like that. Not as bad as him. Okay, so he's coming into his ending, you guys. And now that Pence has forsaken him and will not turn this, uh, he wants pressure on Pence too. Let's look at Pence. Now that Pence has forsaken him, he doesn't trust him. So any, any language about handing the presidency over to Pence so he'll, he'll forgive him, I don't think will happen. If he did do it, I don't think Pence would give him a full pardon. Um, and now he's telling Pence, just like with Barr, you know, you're only good so long and then you're crap. And I feel like he's letting Pence know he's crap. I feel Pence is under a lot of pressure. Only two and a half weeks, you guys. Once we get over the hump of January 6th, we'll take another look at that. Let's take a look at Pence. Okay, here we go. Pence trying to figure out where he's got another job. They're interviewing him. It's FBI or somebody's talking to him. Um, he doesn't want to be affiliated with Trump because he's fearing legal troubles. But they're almost like you act like you were blind, but you weren't. You know, you were, you were still involved. Um, Yeah, he thinks Trump is evil. He's not going to hand it over. And did you guys hear about the Secret Service? Apparently, the ones who are going to look after Biden, they're filtering out because some of the ones that were looking after Trump were Trumpsters. Too much on Trump's side. Racist, I guess you would call them. And so they uh, wouldn't allow them to work with Biden. So there will be no, to put them on a desk routine. There will be no one that's working with Biden from that they know. And trust me, they'll be talking. They'll ask other agents and they'll say, yeah, well, so-and-so just adores him, thinks he's the greatest thing since sliced bread. So that's how they're going to get all that done. Pence isn't as in huge trouble as, as Trump, but he's in trouble. He's going to be called to testify. I'm going to tell you right now, maybe he signed something agreement. I'll testify if you don't, if you stay out of my backyard. Uh, is Ruth and John Lewis watching over? May Lee has my guy uh, as her, uh, her little avatar. She's got my Mueller down here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ruth and John Lewis. I see John Lewis around, not Ruth. Um, Ruth is over at the Supreme Court. I can see her as clear as day. She's looking for mercy. I think what Trump is doing, even with the people like Kavanaugh and and uh, Thompson and uh, well, not Thompson. Thompson doesn't really feel like he has kind of a real humane energy. He feels very opinionated. But that girl, what's her name? Amy. I feel like he's caused a shakeup. And I see uh, what's his name? Our Chief Justice John. Is that his name? First name? We haven't talked about the Supreme Court in a while. I. See see him really fearing what's coming up and being having meetings with them and telling them beyond a reasonable doubt he can't tell them what to do but he can say stick with the constitution stick with the constitution that's what I, it's like he's throwing on their head you know this man cannot be doing these things he just can't and so um 
because Trump was really upset that they, you know, anybody that doesn't go for his side is crap. So he put those three justices in and they, they're actually doing nothing for him. Um, and he knows that now. He really thought people would be loyal. Look what happened to Barr. Look what happened to Pence. Look what happened to, who was that guy that was the, the hillbilly with the DOJ session? Just because he wouldn't do what Trump said for him to do, then, you know. Okay. Well, Susan wants to know, will the orange thing ever face charges for crimes against humanity? And um, real B JLB said status of health care. Um, I want you to know health care is going to be even better. Okay, don't worry about health care. And all this stuff that they did so you couldn't get um, Obamacare will be changed. They won't be calling it Obamacare anymore. Though. Okay, will the orch thing face crimes against humanity? Somebody just said yes. Thank you. When I hear it in my ear, you can take that to the bank. Ooh, guess who I just saw? I just saw the face of the um of the New York, her face. Just saw it just now. They want him there. You think Trump was vicious and wanted was ruthless towards um Obama? Just wait on this woman. <laughs> Oh, yes, sir. She's going to get in there. That's what I'm talking. Hi, huh, Dr. Fossey. Mm -hmm. ah, see, he said, that's right, girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're going to have to get extra depends to sit in this courthouse. Oh, hell yeah. Will he actually, but we know he's going to be in trouble. But is it crimes against humanity? Yes, I'm hearing yes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I see a couple of people involved with this and I almost feel like it's related to or extended from senators, Re Democratic senators, maybe one Republican senator. That's what I'm feeling. So people are gathering together talking about this. Biden will be in office, okay? Um, be patient, you guys. Be patient. And the battle comes. It's going to take a while. You know, remember what I told you. Maybe it, it, it's just, it's not just that, because I see the coffin around them too. It may be post, you know, but they're going to be able to determine that this man was a traitor. And basically strip him of being acknowledged as a president down the road here. Okay. Um, uh, Lisa wants to know, will there be an increased angelic presence over the U.S. as we get closer to ending 45 and allowing 46 to take over? And Lisa, they're around. I even see terrestrials because they know this guy is a clear and present danger. What's happening is we are praying on this. We are asking for help. We're overwhelmed with grief. And we're just saying, please, please, please. Because that Steve guy that is on MSNBC that does the, the thing with who's winning and what the percentage, he did a whole thing the other day saying, you know, we were so close to Trump winning. In fact, if he hadn't won three of the states and he, that states that he only won like 10,000 or something, if he hadn't won those, then it would have gone, they would have been tied. And if they would, went to uh, the Senate, they would have voted him in. There was more Republicans. They would have given him another term. And we were that close. He wasn't gonna get up to 270, but okay, so, um, the angelic forms, yes, but remember we have free will. There's only so much they can do. And then we have to hand it to them. We have to say, you know, take this cup from me. I don't want to drink, it's poison. Because so, so many of us, we do things guilty, Your Honor, sidebar. Um, 
people such as me who get upset because I'm reading the stuff he's doing and I'm telling him off. <laughs> I told you I got put in Twitter jail for saying, all you do is, I use the word be, but you know, complain, complain, complain. I'm looking forward to January 12th, 20th. And they said I was being, um, wishing harm. I was like, no, no, but I don't think they read that. I think uh, a Trumpster complained about it. So anyway, but in that anxiety, like people are still writing me right now and saying, oh, did you see this psychic? And they're saying, oh, Trump's going to be, he's going to be the one inaugurated in on January 20th based on these predictions. And it's like, you know, they can, you can be scared. If that makes you feel better, be frightened. But I can pretty much, if you believe anything, my guides have said, he's going. I saw Biden getting inaugurated. So he's going, there's nothing he can do. He will try to create, create chaos and then he's gonna be has been. But you know what? I wish New York wasn't announcing what they're gonna do because what's happening is causing anxiety for Trump which makes him even more desperate even to start a war or think he can start a war. I see the, I see the um, military standing down. Okay. Uh, Carol wants to know if the Biden administration will be able to govern move vaccines, handle the pandemic. Absolutely. And let me tell you, when they start talking cash going out to the public, uh-huh, your constituents will be calling if you're not working on, with Biden. So don't worry about that. Will Mitch McConnell's election, this is from Lisa, will Mitch McConnell's election be proven that he cheated? Of course he cheated. Yes, ooh. Yeah, see, a lot of stuff's coming up. His wife's in trouble. And then they're gonna have some real things that they're looking at like, wait a second, this doesn't make sense. This doesn't make sense. It's gonna, I told you after, after Biden is in, people are marching out. And I, honest to God, think Mitch McConnell's days are numbered. And he's not going out like a, a great man. He's going out like a heathen. He cheated, he lied, he stole. Um, so will he be able to, yeah, I feel he will. And don't forget, I feel like we're gonna win in Georgia. I feel like we're gonna win in Georgia. Let me just double check. Will we win in Georgia, the two senators? And then that, that gives us even more relief, you guys. Will we win in Georgia? But remember, okay, this is what I'm getting. I'm getting that we'll be able to do stuff even better than before in the Senate. But I feel there's going to be some Republicans that step over the line that aren't going to let uh, Mitch McConnell rule them, especially once Trump's gone. Yeah, Mitch McConnell knows Trump is crazy. He messed with him on that $600 stimulus and he's mad at him now. Oh yes, look, the six of wands. That's like, yes, the victory, the victory card. Oh, hey, I'll do, yeah. Remember I felt one of them has to be kind of recounted or something, but don't worry. Okay. So Purdue is not gonna be able to be there when Trump's there, but that's because he was exposed to COVID. There's no underhanded thing going on, okay? I see the homeless, Emily wants to know, will Biden be the first president to actually take on homelessness? It's a rampant. This is what's gonna happen. Biden is gonna be like the new deal with Roosevelt. Um, he's gonna create, see, there's a lot of mentally ill and diagnosed schizophrenics and people who have drinking problems, drug problems. Those are the ones you can't really change because remember we have free will. Some people prefer being in the street, but those who just need a chance will get it. So they'll be training. Remember I told you that before, they'll be training, there'll be new jobs. A lot of good stuff is coming up. 
So the homelessness will be definitely cut down. Oh yeah, here we go. Crystal just said, I'd like to know about Senator Josh Hawley. I'm in Missouri and proud to say I didn't vote for him. And this man is a smart man. This man is not doing this for Trump. He's doing this because he wants to run for president. And don't forget, Sunday is Sterling Day. Josh Harley. Josh Harley. What's up with him? Or Missouri. You know who I just saw? I saw Rand Paul doing like this. Something's going to happen with Rand Paul. He's going to be thrown out. Ooh. So Josh thought he'd be king for a day. It's not going to work out for him. Uh, actually, this was a big mistake. He thought he was going to get mo more money, more money, more money. But look, he's stuck. Because he created this cycle, money leaves him. So I, I'm thinking that he, he'll kind of be a voice there, but he's going to be in trouble. Some truth is going to come out about him. That's not going to look too good. So Josh Hawley is a nothing burger down the road. Um, uh, uh, Rachel said, how big of a mess January 6th? My intuition tells me it's going to be, it's going to be a lot of tit for tat, back and forth, news media covering it. So-and-so said this, so-and-so. doesn't matter. The Constitution is behind it. Pence is going to just clear it out and say, Biden won. That's it. Okay. We'll know. Maybe even by the next day, I don't know how long they'll be debating, but it, it's going to be Pence. I mean, uh, it's going to be uh, Biden. Ruth McHenry, that's a great one. Wants to know if she ever comes in for uh, messages. Ruth? Ruth, I read all her books. I was just looking at one of her books. I remember when I first got her, I was in nursing school. Didn't know who she was. And I started reading. Oh, my God, I couldn't set it down. I just kept reading and reading and reading. And everything she said made sense to me. She's an automatic writer. She used to be a Washington Post reporter. And she would sit at her typewriter and get messages from the other side. It's really interesting. Past lives, walk-in. She talked about Abraham Lincoln being a walk-in. And, you know, he was real depressed and going through a real hard time. And then all of a sudden he changed. And, you know, sometimes I wonder if I don't walk in because when I gave my life over, I changed. So I don't know. You know, because I was supposed to do this work. Ruth Montgomery, do you have any message for us? Ruth. She's with the big wigs, you guys. Ruth, do you have any messages for us? Feels like she's talking to somebody else via, you know, text computer. She feels like she's talking to somebody else. Like there's somebody else out there who's doing writing. There was somebody that claimed they got messages from her and I got that book, it wasn't her. It was a load of crap. Um, what a waste of time. But it feels like she's saying she's working with somebody. It's not me, it's somebody else. So it will. we will get pieces of what's going on over there through a different a different human person. So her and her, all the people around her are working with others. Her time frame was off. I, I know that, but it's okay because you know time frames with psychics is never good. Okay, so I know Mike just said, "Will Trump be arrested for treason and manslaughter?" Hospitals are running out of oxygen. People are dying. I see him coming out with crimes against humanity. And I see foreign nations coming forward with that. Like they're, they're going to decide that he did not help others or they're going to push for the United States to get rid of him. 
Okay. These are kind of repeat questions. Is Mitch, will Mitch be leaving? I see him leaving the Senate way before his time, only because he has to. Um, and Melania, I think there's a body double that works with uh, Trump, but I feel like Melania wants away from. They're saying that Melania and Trump are looking for another house um, because they're, I think they're realizing that they can't live at Mar-a-Lago. Otherwise the neighbors will burn them down. Um, can you tell me? They're looking for another house. I feel like he's, you know, once they hit him up, as soon as he's no longer, he's gonna to try to hide a little bit, but I feel like they will take his passport from him. I feel like they won't let him leave the country, but he can leave on a private jet, some one of his friends. I see him running. I mean, he's gonna get sick by the time we catch up with him. Will he actually serve? I never saw him in jail. I've been telling you guys this from the get-go. I just never saw it because I don't think he can last. I think he throws money at it and tries his best and he'll try to create chaos, but I don't see him around being able to do much in 2024. Hope maybe that's because he's isolated because he's in prison or he's just a nobody. He starts losing his mind or something. Yeah, and listen, only daughter said, well, Republican senators who violated their oath on the, to the Constitution, the ones that are in the real red, red states are, will probably be safe, but I do see a lot of them getting voted out. I don't see them getting in for sedition. I don't see Nancy Pelosi being able to do it because I feel she's following Biden. Biden's just saying, we just got to move forward. But don't worry, they will take care if they're going to find out about Russia and some of these Republicans, there's other stuff that's coming up. Um, Josh Hawley, McConnell, you guys are talking a lot about, I think I'm, I'm done. Um, will Tokyo have the Olympics this summer? Yes. Um, you guys keep asking, is there anything that's gonna happen to these people? Linda, they changed up people on Biden's security team. Vicky, I just got done saying that they did it because some of the people were Trumpsters and they decided that wasn't safe for Biden. Okay, you guys. So I'm going to see you. Oh, wait. There's one other thing we need to do. Okay, one second. I'll put this on pause. I'm back. Okay. We need to pick the two winners. For January 1st, first one is L-I-E-S-A, L-I-E-S-A. And the next one is Carol, Carol B, Carol Beck. And there's another part to her name. I don't like to say the whole last name. L-I-E-S-A and Carol. B, uh, you can text me at Stand Up Psychic, which will be in the box below, and we will schedule your 30 minute free reading in February. Okay? Ciao, you guys. Take care.